A new sailing class is hitting the west coast of the U.S. this year. The Pack 52. The Pack 52 is a 52-foot monohull sailboat. They are a carbon fiber hull built out of the latest generation TP52 hull mold. Each boat is fitted with a carbon fiber mast, boom, carbon fiber rigging, and a fixed steel keel fin with a lead bulb. With a Spartan interior, they have basic accommodations for coastal and offshore sailing. The single rudder can either be tiller or wheel steered. The class will race in a one design format without any rating or time allowance. This is accomplished with the box rule which utilizes the ORR measurement system to equalize the boats. Some of the key differences between the Pack 52 and the TP52 are that the Pack 52 is lighter yet stronger and suited for coastal and offshore sailing. The diesel engine is significantly lighter and the mast is nearly a meter taller. It's the same hull, so we built out of the mold that was originally built for sled. There's no difference in the hull shape and the keels are the same basically. The biggest difference is the taller mast, so that means all our sails are bigger, we've just got more horsepower. The other cool thing is we weren't limited by a, a minimum hull weight requirement, which the Super Series is. So they've built their boats extremely lightweight, which are only good for inshore racing. We've been able to build this boat, which is strong enough to go full offshore. We could go do a Transpac or Hobart if we wanted to, the hull structure's there. But we've actually come in as a lighter weight hull than the Super Series, because we didn't have to follow their strict box rule requirements. It's a boat that has a much longer lifespan, can do more things, you know, it's a, it's a true inshore offshore boat. So you get all the benefits of a lightweight super series platform, but then by, by advancing the technology a little bit, we've also made it offshore capable. We have a lot of hydraulic control functions on things. We've got head stay, mass deflectors, mass butt adjustment. Um, that's all powered by a rotary hydraulic pump on the aft coffee grinder, which uh, is very efficient at moving things around so we can really quickly and easily tune the rig for different conditions. We also have the full Harkin Spinnaker takedown system with some modifications from SD Boat Works to uh, change the gear ratio. And uh, that can get the Spinnaker down in a matter of seconds really efficiently. We have a full running rigging package by SD Boat Works using all Marlow ropes. and. Um, we found they have really good covers that hold well in the clutches, work well in the winches. Then we're using their SK99 Max cores, which are the lowest stretch option out there. And uh, that's really improved. We've been able to downsize ropes and have less stretch and things, which just helps the overall performance. This class will start its racing on the West Coast in 2017. We have four incredible owners, uh, three in SoCal and one from San Francisco. Our season starts in San Diego and throughout the season heads north to Newport Beach, Long Beach, and then ends in San Francisco with our final regatta of the year as the Pac-52 Cup on the Bay in San Francisco, which will be very exciting. The West Coast has not seen a class like this racing boat on boat without any handicap time allowance since the far 40s of a decade ago. The class of really professional people so you don't get people running into each other and all that stuff so that's one of the probably the better things these boats are about half professionals I have seven pros and uh, I think that's the limit but they've got some very good crew people my my amateur sailors are like pro sailors I mean they've been around forever there's heavy interest so we'll see what the future holds the class is looking to expand and gives potential owners the ability to compete in a thrilling state-of-the-art race boat. Stay tuned for more coverage on the Pac-52 class.